Hey guys, Terry here. Um, I had to do something recently and I thought, oh, let me make a quick video to explain this little tool. How, am, how many of you have a Zutter machine? Do you remember this guy? This lets you um, punch these notches into paper and cardboard and it's got all these little contraptions on it. I really need to get the book out <laughs> and learn more, but I had a need to change this um, bookmark, planner bookmark, from a three ring over to a um, notebook style. So I knew I had this Sutter and I thought, oh, let me get this out and try it. So um, the thing about it is it has an option here on the side and it's called if you put it in the A position it's called open and B is continuous and C is cover and D is inner pages so I did it on B for continuous and I did that because I wanted to be able to punch along the way so I started it here on the end and what you do is there's a handy foot back here Pull this little guy out so that it stabilizes it and then you put your piece of paper in there. Matter of fact, I'll just do it with a piece of paper. Pick something where you can see it. Solid color, solid color. Okay, so you put this in here, start it on the end. There's a line right here. Okay, see that? So then you pull it down. Pull it down. Keeping the paper level. And I'm punching those holes. And that's what it does. Okay. And then there is a little notch on this right here. You see that black notch? So what you do is you position this back in here and I left see this one's gonna punch right here so I put this one we can even do this one over here I put this in I'm keeping it level but I'm putting that I'm putting that right there I don't know if you can see it so right there that little black tab is sticking out the back of the piece of paper so that I know it's evenly lined up. And then I'm keeping the paper level and then I'm punching this again. So the idea is now I'll pull that off that black tab and that way it continued to line up. Okay, I can even do one more here if I need to. So when I was doing this, I put it in scooted it over, punched it in there, scooted it over, kept going. I think at the very end, how did I do it? There was a reason I had to flip it around. I don't remember what it was now, but don't forget that you can flip it around and put one of these tabs in and then it'll continue to line up. So I um, thought that was handy. And then at the end I thought, well, where do all the pieces go? And then I saw this little door over here on this side that says open and you can dump that into the trash can that's where all the punched pieces come out isn't that handy so um, I don't know a lot about it but I got that far I do know that when you um, buy the rings if you wanted to make something out of cardboard a book hold on I'm gonna go get the rings I bought these rings somewhere they were on clearance. What was that, Joanne's? So you buy the rings and then that would be what you do to, you'd put your book together, wind this through your pages, and then you put it inside this. There's a way to open that up to the size rings that you have. And then what would happen is when you close this, I don't know if you can see in there, it's dark. When you close this, it would 
bind those rings together. So it would close this up and then, you know, make that be the binding of your book. So that's what the zetter is for. Like I said, I'm not an expert at it. Came with a book. I haven't read the book. But I wanted you to know that this was the foot. You could line stuff up. That's what that little tab there is for. And then how to um, empty the trash that's inside there. It's called a Zutter Bind It All. Bought it years ago. This may have been like the second time I've used it. So, hope that helps. Bye, guys.